what page did I get to? I got to page 68. Oh, so close to 69. Damn. Hello everyone, so I actually was not planning on filming today, but the book gods had a different plan for me in the form of a new bookshelf. Yesterday was Darren's birthday, so we went out to eat with his parents, which, oh my gosh, I forgot I had leftovers, so that's definitely going to be my lunch. Anyways, we needed to pick up some household items, some groceries, so we did a little shopping after dinner, and I just thought, hey, let's see if they have uh, bookshelves that I really like that are in stock. So I measly made my way over there, these cheap shelves are are elusive in my area so I wasn't expecting to turn the corner and Darren to shout they have a bookshelf okay he didn't shout but he, he said it calmly so I grabbed the shopping cart raced over there like a mother trying to get a toy for her child at Christmas time and managed to get the shelf in my cart by myself by the way all five feet of me so now I am sitting in front of two already organized bookshelves which I did a whole video for um you can still go watch that by the way I'm now contemplating life since I have to take all of these books off, shift the shelves slightly over to fit the third shelf. What? My kitty's crying at me. I have to shift these two over slightly up against the thermostat so that we can put the third shelf here and put the books all back on again. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I plan for a third shelf to begin with when I put these up? Listen, don't yell at me. <laughs> I didn't think I would have a third shelf so soon. I mean, it's actually not as bad as it sounds. I'm going to keep the books in order that I have them on the floor so that I can slip them right back in where they were. So it's not going to be a big deal. I don't have to use my brain power to organize them again and figure out um, what book goes where um for these two anyways but the third shelf is a whole different story which brings me to why i'm vlogging today see we just made a big loop there's not here today so it's just going to be me doing most of it but we are an independent woman who needs no man besides when i need something on the top shelf Speaking of which, Darren did help me take off all the books that were on top here so I could work on this by myself today, which is very nice of him. And we stacked them right here. This is pretty much the idea. Just put them in the same order and then they will be easily put back on top. This pretty much tells me that I just need a step stool. That's what I should have gotten when we went shopping yesterday. Oh, and I also started a new book, so I'll go ahead and show you what that is. I'm, I'm still in the middle of Depth of Swords, but I was just really in the mood for something um, lighter last night. And when I filmed my book haul video, I talked about this book and it made me even more excited about it and that is the monsters we defy and i'm really really enjoying it um it's honestly like the perfect weather outside today to read this it's not too hot and it's also kind of cloudy which i think just fits the whole vibe of this book um this book is about a woman who can basically talk to ghosts she has some connection with the spirit world because of the way that she was born um the writing is so freaking good so far and the characters are very lively and they just pop off the page i'm not very far into it so um i will keep you updated on this i will probably read this more tonight but in the meantime, we clearly have some work to do and a lot of it. My plan right now is to just take off all the books on this shelf and stack them neatly in order on the floor and then shift it over. Here is the evidence of the third bookshelf, by the way. I am so happy I found a third bookshelf. Oh my god, I am so freaking hype about this. Totally not regretting the full rack of ribs. Leftovers, baby. Big plate, definitely. Eh. Don't worry, I know you've seen this before just recently, so I'm not going to like show you every single process. This will probably be sped up more this time. If you saw my last one, it was a very raw, slow-paced um, book organization video where you could hear all the sounds and it was like so satisfying. It's not going to be like that this time. <laughs> okay, let's see how long this takes me. Ah, these books are finally going to have a home, which feels really nice. 
I'll be honest, I was kind of like in a mid panic because I have so many books that aren't shelved or can't be shelved without having that third bookshelf. How many times am I going to say bookshelf? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And as someone who gets a lot of books um, in a span of a month, it was very panic inducing. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if I die. <laughs> Moving this like two feet. Let's see. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so I do have it pretty close to this old ass thermostat. <laughs> I hope this isn't a problem. I might take a picture and ask Darren first. <laughs> he said it's fine. We're moving on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the books back on the shelf because the shelf is in its place. I'm just now kind of realizing that the books are going on the shelf. I would like them to be in the middle, but we'll deal with that later. Okay, this is actually way more work than it needs to be if I'm moving these books here in the middle. So I'm just gonna take all the books off this one. Does this make sense? I hope this is making sense. This is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot wait till this is finished. Also, like, we still have so many boxes. We're being very slow about unpacking, okay? Okay, let's see if I'm strong enough to move over this shelf, which still has books at the bottom. I'm just being very lazy about it. Work smart, not hard. We did it, folks. Third bookshelf is going to go here. Look at this disaster. Okay, anyways. Um, so the shelf is going to go right here. So I have the books mostly where I want them. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and build this shelf. Wish me luck. <sighs> Alrighty. That took so long for one person. It's so much easier with two people. But I got it done. <laughs> Darren's going to be so proud of me. Anyways, here she is in all her glory. I still need to push her over... Um, a little bit more because there's a gap, but I'm, go I'm just going to go ahead and put the books on there that I had, like Joe Abercrombie. You already saw all this. It's going to look exactly the same, so here we go. Okay, so it's actually the next day and I realized I didn't show you the end result, so here it is. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm still moving books around quite a bit, but we have some space up there. Um, we have some space down there still, but I really like how it turned out, and I also have my fairy lights going around um i love it okay so before i end this video abruptly because i totally would accidentally i thought i would give you a reading update because i did get farther into this book last night and i'm really liking it i will say that i am reading this at the perfect time because so far it takes place in august and that's what i call great immersion i've learned a lot more about how the ghosts are integrated into the story and it's actually way more intricate than i thought clara the main character helps people by contacting um spirits to make a deal with them they can basically fix their problem whatever it may be but in return you get a trick um, something negative basically. Well, a mother asks for help for her son who's acting really strange and when Clara goes to contact a spirit to help, nothing happens. Um, no spirit services, which has never happened before. And it appears that the boy might be possessed or like afflicted with something and she finds out later on that a ring is causing this condition. If you hear that noise, that's my cat going wild upstairs. <laughs> and it's causing more people to act like this. They don't speak, they stare at nothing, um, they walk around aimlessly or they're just missing altogether. They're like zombies almost. But this ring is owned by a rich and famous opera singer who always um, wears it and she has to steal it to find the cure to all of this. And um, that's the hook for sure. Clara is not a thief. She has no skill in thievery or pickpocketing and she doesn't have much money at all. So I'm really curious on how this is all going to be accomplished. Uh, will she gather like ghosts to help her because that would be fun. I'm really excited to continue. What page did I get to? I got to page 68. Oh, so close to 69. Damn. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to keep doing vlogs like this because I can totally do that. Um, they just might start to get 
boring because I pretty much do the exact same thing every day. Um, so until we meet again, happy reading.